against the Utah Jazz team you're familiar with from the last postseason. They've changed some things, but they're still a slow paced team, play a lot of defense, share the ball. So what have you been able to see that's different from what you're used to? Uh well they got a um obviously they got some different personnel, you know, that, you know, with Rubio there. Um but other than that, you know, they've really and, and obviously them not having Hayward obviously is a big loss for them, but they've been able to still be effective. They still play that jazz basketball where they slow it down, a lot of passes. So I think we have to kind of really focus on disrupting them on defense, and then on offense, we got to play at a high pace, kind of get them, uh, get them out of that comfort. So uh, I think if we do that, you know, we'll be all right. If we play at their speed and their pace and their offense, then you know, they're tough to beat. They're going to be started as a shooting guard. Like, yeah, yeah. Come into the season, we're probably preparing to start. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does that, what does that mean for you? This early season to be the starter. Uh, well, I, I, you know, for me right now, it's just about um, continuing to be aggressive. Obviously, I missed a lot of days. Um, so those first two games, I treated as kind of like rhythm games, you know, just trying to get back to playing and get used to playing again against five other guys and playing with five other guys. Um, uh, so I, I think I needed those two first games. I'm ready to go, though, now. Um, tonight, you'll see me a lot more comfortable out there, um, back in my routine, back in the kind of season form. Um, so I feel good, and um, you know, for me personally, I'm just going to go out there, be aggressive, and uh, do what I do. Do you see uh, any of the non-dimensional game and, and what your situation was coming into the league? Yeah, yeah. You just, you know, young guy. He's on a team that wants to win now. Um, you know, attacks the basket well, strong guard. Um, and I think he has a bright future. So, uh, I, I, and also, I see you see Utah is definitely uh, invested in him. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the key for any rookie of success. The team has to be invested in you. No matter how good you are, if you don't have a coach or a GM who's willing to be patient with you and, and uh, invested in you, you're not going to you know, become the player you want to be. So I think uh, the fact that he has that on his side, plus he's a talented player, is good for him. How does Rodney, Rodney is questionable for him. How does his availability change? What do you guys do? Oh, well, he's a, obviously a, you know, a, a very, uh, he's a scorer and uh, one of their main options as a score. So obviously that would affect a lot, but uh, I, I think from what we're hearing, he's very probable for tonight he's going to play. So we're treating it as he is going to play. If he doesn't, they got scores like Burks and Joe Johnson off the bench, who we all know, you know, what Joe Johnson did to us last year in the playoffs. So, you know, either way, we're going to have to be ready to go.